money 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 your usual suspect with your usual flavor reactions <laughs> yeah guys today i'm gonna just react very briefly not quite long about uh, the usual thing you no know? africa content creators nyambuanzi and other things yes thank you very much for the support be my subscriber if you're new here the usual drill please subscribe why not well uh, if you have seen my previous uh, video you guys have seen my reaction about Ivan Ivan is back again please go and see the video and react uh, Ivan is losing the plot Ivan is a good content creator can do things good better but uh, there is something very interesting about Ivan. is not understand the values of be African. And um, well, let's close that page and let him do whatever he wants. And if he want to draw himself against a wall, it's about him. Yeah, uh, what I want to say today in this reaction is not about Nyambuans, it's not about Kenya. Let's shift a little bit away from Kenya. Let's go to the other side of Africa, it's about Nigeria. Uh, there is a Moses LDN. If you are looking for entertainment, for something that is good, something that you like, something that you want, uh, enjoy, like things that Ayamara does, there is a new YouTuber uh, that I discovered recently, uh, Moses. You have two channels. You have uh, Moses LDN, that I think is the one you guys must uh, enjoy is on the range of uh, Ayamaro, but with a lot of twists and tricks. That's what he makes his channel very interesting to watch and very entertaining. Believe me, it's not what you've been seeing usual about Taiwayana and other Nigerian YouTubers. This is more classic, it's more open. It's like Ayamaro, not traveling in a different area different environment and relationship uh, friends family values also tasks and that ego of a young man go out there and explore the world <clears throat> never say that uh, also i want to just refer a very brief here very very brief that uh, there is a new out uh, new youtubers coming out there that uh, are worthy to, to watch and it's a quiet pity some they speak french and most of us don't understand french it's something i saw last night <laughs> and very interest i wish I could, they could have uh, a subtitle but uh, they don't have it's about emigrate Somebody tells story about the, how he immigrated to France, how the point was when arrived in France. And talk about that, if you look at uh, it is the general uh, video, time to time you talk about a few things. I can say also as a, a, an upcoming YouTuber of Spring of Ayamara, very interested to see and to see a mature person ever thoughts about his own uh, in canada and how life goes like myself i'm here today it's cold <clears throat> i have some sorry about this uh, i have different tasks to do how to overcome my tasks but uh, always when we react videos uh, we go back always somewhere somehow we, we always end up back in Kenya. Yeah, Kenya, YouTubers. Uh, I saw this guy uh, called Check Effect, and uh, it bothers me a little bit about. I don't have nothing ag against uh, Check, but uh, I have a question. Why this guy is back in Kenya after he done a lot of travel, been in different places? Why Kenya becomes so attractive to YouTubers? Is content creation or something else these YouTubers have find in Kenya that make their lives easier? You look, a lot of YouTubers, when they get to Kenya from different parts of the world, 
even uh, people come to work in the United Nations and all the other organizations that have headquarters in Kenya, they want to establish themselves in Kenya. So means Kenya is very progressive and Kenya have something very special that is good. It's good, not only YouTubers and professionals, churches, American and all these people coming to, even Brazilian people in coming to Kenya is quite uh, to be admired. But nevertheless, going back, a quick reaction uh, about these Nyambo ones. Nyambo ones has lost completely. The content from Nyambo ones is, uh, does not have no longer interest. Even some of the offsprings of uh, those people, they went to the party, been there in the party and all that. It became like beggars, you see them, and scammers. That is all about. Now, with the season of school, schooling, you see even people. What was so shocked is this kid go and knocks a gate of Ayamara and tell him, oh, I want uniform. Just like that, I want uniform. That means parents in uh, in number ones they are watching uh, Ayamara blogs and all that. Just they they think is just go to Ayamara and say I want this and this will fall from the skies, or they become too lazy think because of this bad talk, this crossroads of bad talk. Uh, now is number ones. That many of the people think, oh, it's a duty of Ayamara provide scholarships and uniforms and donations to everybody. Rabex, you people, Nyambo ones, have to grow up, have to understand this is a YouTube, is a street, and then this street, there are so many people. It's not just because send your children to somebody's house or because the children of that one, of the less ones. The, they have it, why not my children? Come on. As a parent, you need to be proud of yourself, not just because you you want everything free, free, free. This reminds me when in Mozambique, when I was there some few years, two years back, <clears throat> when I was in my compound and I done lunch and all this, these kids all come lunchtime and sit in front of my compound when I'm having lunch, everybody runs in front of me and watching me eating. I couldn't, as an adult, I can't eat with all these small eyes look at me. And then you can see they're angry. They want, just I have to give them my food. So, so go to a point where I have to have my lunch in a, in a different way, in a such way, so I could enjoy a meal at least because I'm human also, I need to be fed. But when you have a situation where these kids all in front of you on your compound, they are looking at you, have a meal, what as a parent you're gonna think? You're gonna say, oh, these kids, they didn't eat. So you have to feed them. It's quite sad. It's quite sad being African and being told these stories the way they are and how they are. <clears throat> but some of those kids, you could see their parents are very, very well off. Their parents are very well off, they have cars, they have buses, they have everything, but they're, they're begging. So this mentality of Africans begging, 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 is it's something very painful to watch and hear. So the content of Nyambuan becomes so much conflictive if you, you lose interest and watch certain YouTubers. <clears throat> I know Nasto, uh, <clears throat> Mayugno, Ayamara, those and one or two other out there, they bring different content. But when you watch Mike, Mapopo, um, Max One, and all, you only hear about stories about infights, excuses, claim. You hear everything that you say, God, I don't need this. I have my own shit. Sorry for the word. I have my own problem. And these guys are coming here, make me fool. And the day the general, as he said, the less unfortunate, they need help. It's true. I agree with him. But not the way people just wake up in the morning, make sure they watch Ayamara or Iznasto and somebody else there. And then they think, oh, 
this has happened in there, let's go claim it. It's our right. It does not happen like this. But also I'm glad that uh, Ayamara has got to a point where realizing he needs to get out of the village and go around the world, do what he does. Yeah. But uh, all was something he had quite love and interest that I, I saw it today. And many of you might not agree with me. I'm quite sure men not agree. It's about my Yugno. <clears throat> Let me prepare my voice for this. This will maybe hurt some people. My Yugno in reality have a bad face. I never want to talk about this, but my Yugno have a very bad face. How I had spot this, I never spoke about this. Well, a while ago, uh, my Yugno, uh, when he started his new building, and uh, the sister shows up at the uh, number ones, and Maja K, he liked to uh, want to have a relationship, even go to the extra mile of marriage. My Yugno poses, my Yugno starts saying, mm -mm, mm -mm. Is it in video? You might say to me, oh, you are just make up a story. I didn't make up a story. Just go to the archives of my Yugno, you're going to see. And then this was in the evening. And my Yugno make a very clear statement that he does not trust uh, Maja K. Even there is another video when Maja K, my Yugno grandpa, in front of grandpa's stories, where my Yugno, you can hear my Yugno disagree, disapprove that relationship. And that I find quite ridiculous from my Yugno. Uh, interfere on the relationship of a sister with because somebody was his friend. Okay, let's put this in another different point of view. Uh, that my Yugno knows, uh, what's called, my Yugno knows, uh, my Yugno knows uh, Maja, what Maja does, or Maja talk to people, or whatever, what they see. But My Yugno doesn't know the feelings of anybody, when the feelings are truth or not truth. So that was a big mistake of My Yugno, to break the relationship between uh, Dorina and Maja K. That was really, yeah, I think that is be one of the reasons why Dorina doesn't want to stay uh, with uh, my Yugno. Prefer be on her own, look after herself and carry on with their life because there is some friction. Somewhere, somehow, there is friction. Uh, and now see Maja K come and address this subject here. And in fact, that I have to say to Maja, hey man, <laughs> you shocked me. You're so brave. Yeah, that shows what a real man is. And Ivan, if you're out there, you want to learn about being a man, uh, I'm talking to you, Ivan Tars. Uh, there is an example. Follow up Maja and uh, learn from Maja what calls be a man. A man is not that one go chase other people's girls, friends, and friends or friends' networks. Man is those who knows how to keep their feelings, try to figure out and uh, understand what's going on, what's hurting them, and what it's all about. Yeah, but also is about be you as an individual. Understand that at certain times, not everything what's going around with you might benefit you. So this concludes with Ayamaro. I'm glad to see this last video of Ayamaro, where is this drama about the people stealing from him. People have been stealing from Ayamaro for quite long. And uh, now Ayamaro has got the point where he, he say, okay, enough, it is enough. Let me deal with this in another way. Great, very great, a very well taught Ayamaro. And uh, that will also make a content. Uh, was somebody on live stream comments say, oh, don't miss this mislead us with the title. We gonna unsubscribe. That was your own personal point of view. People will not unsubscribe from Ayamara because of mislead title. If you didn't watch from the beginning, 
is your fault. Next time, try to be on time and watch the full video or vlog. So what I want to say here, something interesting. Sometimes it is good not to talk about certain things and let those things happen. The after part effects now are unravel. They are unravel. Even strong man is unravel himself. Who is, is true colors? Uh, that man uh, he, he knew he should be quiet while he's in the IMRO compound because he get fed, he sleeps. And he knew all these guys are going around with him. They are not good characters. He knew, but what we can do is the environment of Nyambo ones. You can't go now and say to, hey, you this, you that. Yeah, to a certain extent, yeah, you're right, you can say. But <clears throat> let me be clear here. That guy that was work with uh, IMR, uh, strong man, and then used to be do videos, say, no, we am doing work. That guy was clear. If you go... I went back to his four, five, seven videos of him. And then from the seven videos of him, I have realized this guy had the mission, had the intention. Always I say, this person does not fit in this environment. There is something here missing. And that is, I always think I was crazy, but there is. He's a thief, like some most of them that work in there just for chasing the, the payday and then turn around and come steal it. So now things are missing, things are disappear. What these people end the day have managed, get it. They manage, get it, what I done myself. Remember always I relate some few things that Ayamara does with myself. Like I'm going to tell you a story of my own. Uh, some while, I was doing the same with Ayamaro does, not a villa, just a small buildings in a farm. I used to contract local people to work for me. I used to pay them, call them, or do this for me. Do it for me. And always these people start do it, never finish. Or they steal first the 10 bags of cement and resell it, and then they say, oh, they got stole it, and something like that. And then... I start sit there and control them to do the work. You know, my father, my brother, a story, lentil of stories. And these people, they didn't like to work. They have to work against their will, but they will, <coughs> sorry, be paid because just they've been on site. So I decided to say enough is enough. I don't use any more workers or builders from my own community. So I went to find a way, very far away from my community. And this example I took about uh, something happened in Peru. I saw this uh, event when Fujimori, Fujimora, Fujimoro, some guy looked like Japanese, used to be a president of uh, Peru. When he dug that a tunnel, and then he got in the embassy and all. He brought these people from far away, people they didn't know what they're doing. This way that my, my thought came. And then I'm, I done the same. It works for me. So now that I went to pick up builders far away, far as possible from that community, at least my build has worked it out in a such way I can showcase to somebody, say, look what I have achieved with this amount of money. And the previous, what I used to spend, I do remember spending $90,000 even the foundation was not out of the ground. My own friend that I hired him to work for me was stealing for me. So this is a good lesson for Ayamaro. I see Ayamaro here take a decision in the video of yesterday or previous video saying, if you want to come to work for me, come with a serious note and the contract where you and I will agree. Well done, Ayamara. That is clever. That is very interesting. And that is the way you're going to see. It. Because there is so much things, so much things that could be done so well, so well. Like that uh, that guy calls him now the top master, the 
for Ayamara. Now my Yugunu does not work there. Really, that guy was more interested in project himself because he saw the success of my Yugno. He could do it, replicate it, and become successful. Now he got a motorbike. Where is? Uh, where is that? What not what uh, Mayugno done? Mayugno went and showed the struggles of his life, what he was doing, what he was trying to do, improve here, go there, around. These guys, just because they got the motorbike, they got all these perks of the party. Bye bye. Tomorrow is another day. I'm sure Ayamaro will call me. I know he lives far away in Tanzania, he's doing something else, but come on, guys. You can read these people and understand these people really. They are not there to do what they should do. I'm great because now Ayamaro is facing these difficulties with the electricity. He's facing other things, a lot of challenges he's having. And then the thing about the school time starts. And I was thinking here myself, is God... Uh, give this guy ideas or oh, God keep this guy in the village always when the school start because last time he was in the village when the, the season school starts this time the season school starts or may because up here in the hemisphere north is cold is waiting for the hot season so he can because he doesn't like wear jackets he doesn't you want to dress like a an African man, you know, more open in all this, and that that is his strategy of travel because now he's talking about. But uh, yeah, if you want to have that strategy, you don't need to be in your village. You could go travel Australia, travel South America. You can go to another countries. There are more many countries out there. The season are different. Maybe South Pacific all these islands and places, you know, <clears throat> do content instead stay in the, in the village. But uh, one of the things I realize now is that uh, the presence of many people, now he needs to have staff it need, uh, and other things are going on in his village. He need to look for the safety of the village and might wonder about his own safety, self things. You know, properties and everything, because still in the, on the Ayamara uh, villa, it becomes focus. So if Ayamara walks out of the villa, believe me, it would be a right. People, they will assault that place and overwhelm me. The people are there and steal everything. Even if they will steal the bed. Because if they've been able to steal cameras from Cherry Idol and others, these people can do anything. So don't think that people in Yambo ones, they are honest people. They are revealing themselves to be really, very, really, very angry people. People they hate. People they are desperate. You know, especially when you see a corporate like uh, Kenya Power that should be have to have a top client, Ayamara, play games. With electricity. When you see a corporate do that, you start to understand these Kenyan people, <laughs> they're deep, deep, deep <laughs> dangerous. They have something in their hearts. Even the politicians, you start to realize these local MPs and politicians, they're nuts. They don't understand the benefits of having somebody like Ayamara from that village and make that village a turnaround of the village. The positive things of us bring to the village. Anyway, let me leave there, but say to Maja K.E. was nice. You came out, you unraveled everything. We know was my Yugnu. You don't need, you don't need to come and say, reveal, but it's life. Somewhere, somehow, my Yugnu one day will realize and come to you and say, I'm sorry for what I done. Well, it is not in a bad note, but Mayugnu should never, ever do it what he done. 
And if you are saying, oh, why are you appointed my yugnu? I'm not stupid. I see it. And then I just give you a guidance. Is here on YouTube, on archives of Maja, on archives is Nasto, on archives of Mayugnu himself. So those videos are there. You can go watch was in the evening in the new building of uh, Mayugnu. And then there is another two videos on the archives of uh, Grandpa, the village of Grandpa, and Mayugnu was early in the morning in front of grandpa's shop. That is evidence. So please, uh, not just close straight away. Yeah, I didn't want to talk about iron jab. I thought it was not the occasion, but I'll take an occasion right now. I still have another four or five minutes. Okay, iron jab. I didn't watch that video when she was crying and the husband, I ask people, I ask myself, ah, everybody have to cry, everybody have to bring drama? This is what is uh, Nairob Chichek picked up and just ran and tried to react. Big mistake, Nairob Chichek. Big mistake. You want to come back. Man, I keep telling, repeat here, this offsprings of Nyambo One's YouTubers. They are done. Few of them might be successful, few of them, but most of them, they are done. There is nothing they can offer. They have proven. They have proven they fail big time. They have to accept and walk away and go get a job. That's what you, happened to you, Mr. Nairob Chicha. You have to get a job. Because come here and start say, she, you see that? She, yeah, it's a reaction video, but the, you made a mistake. You didn't analyze the content. Was a good react, point to react? There was something really more than that what you said, but you lost. You start just going too much personal. When you... Re, React a video. If you want to become a reactor, go learn from I am Carol. Go learn from I am Carol. She's the master of the masters. You can understand how you can create hate. And hate can be the love of everything that you see in life. You don't see anything, details, positively. You see details as bad as oro. That's what you guys don't see. That I'm saying to you guys, there is more options out there to watch. Now from Nigeria, there is this guy I do recommend, I recommend called Moses LDN. If you like really <clears throat> be entertained, something new, curious, not this thing to show us streets, to show us uh, but wells, foundations, no, 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 no. This is something really funny. Something intrigue. Really is entertainment. Please, if you have time, go watch this Nigerian YouTuber, uh, Moses LDN1. Is a good, even his girlfriend channel. First follow him, and then you're gonna say, I wanna see the channel of his girlfriend. You're going to say, no, I want to follow this. This is a good stuff. So I'm very sorry about Kenyans content creators. I'm not trying to put you down. We lovers of Ayamara will still follow Ayamara until as one of the comments I saw in one of my reaction videos, we'll follow the commander forever. That is true. There is no way. Even commander with the Ro Cabrera, whatever is going to happen, they, we will follow him. Unfortunately, you guys, empty heads, you always are here begging and talking trash. It is bye bye. Me not watching you and subscribing for your channel because you are not grateful people. Bye.